Hi, I'm Tana. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. When I first filmed the very first one of these psychic coincidences videos like a month ago, I promise you I had no intention of making this a series. I'm not running out of content. <laughs> and then these like psychic coincidental things just kept happening to me. And I know that these types of videos aren't ones that anyone enjoys. I'm literally just making them at this point to like vent to you guys because I want answers. I want someone to understand. Like I want to read the comments. I know. But these fucking psychic, weird, unexplainable, coincidental things won't stop fucking happening to me and if I don't talk to someone about them, before you know it, every fucking video I film will be crying on the kitchen floor and like, I just... I need to vent to you guys. So if you're really confused by this video, I'm gonna link the first part to this series. <laughs> below and you can watch that one basically these really weird coincidences keep happening to me but they're like not fucking coincidences and I'm just gonna read you off like 30 of them and hopefully you'll resonate with me that's the point of this video this is probably why my social blade chart looks like this <laughs> But before I get into the video, really, really, really quickly, in like July, I start a world tour. I've been planning and working on the tour so much in these last few weeks, and it's finally coming to fruition, and I can't even begin to tell you guys how different this tour is from my last tour, and I'm just so excited to go all around the US and a few international places and start meeting you guys and start doing these insane, fun shows that involve the audience so much, so if you would like that or you're interested in that, I'm gonna link that below. And in my last video, which I will link below, I talk about a very unfortunate situation where I was arrested at Coachella and I made these shirts with my mugshot on them <laughs> so I'm gonna link those below as well I don't think promoting shirts with my mugshot will ever not be something that I laugh at like why is that my brand let's get into the video now hey what's up you guys yes <laughs> I'm just kidding that was my Shane Dawson conspiracy voice I'm a fan <laughs> Okay, so when I filmed my last Psychic Coincidences video, like literally 14 hours after that video was filmed, I hopped on a plane to Australia and went on a little bit of an Australian tour. So all of these are gonna take place from that point, like literally right after that video was filmed. Up until now, this video is going to be really fucking long, by the way, so for anybody who enjoys my really long videos, you're welcome. For anybody who doesn't, I'm really sorry. So the first one that stood out to me that I had to like write down, a lot of little weird ones happen to me all the time, like I'll just think of a song and it'll like come on or I'll think of a person and like they'll text me but I don't want to waste you guys this time I only want to give you guys like the juicy ones that like fuck with your head hella like they fuck with mine kind of going insane it's really casual I'm seriously just fine I'm fine <laughs> I'm fine so I'm in Australia I've been there for like a day I'm talking to my friend and I'm talking about something to him and somehow we start talking about messy Monday I hate that I'm even like promoing the shit out of messy Monday right now but if you don't know what it is it's just a Twitter that like posts drama of all social media influencers and they like post every Monday and it's like a thing whatever and so I was talking to my friend about it and he was like what's messy Monday and I was like you don't know what Messy Monday is? Like, that's so weird because, like, everyone on social media knows what Messy Monday is because they're all always on it. You know what I mean? And so I was, like, mind blown that he had no idea what Messy Monday was. So I was like, I'll pull it up. I'll show you. And so I go to pull up Messy Monday and I go to show him and I'm like, and the first story on Messy Monday, like, the number one top of the page, the last tweet that they tweeted was a story about when I was showing him what Messy Monday was. Messy Monday literally posts about every social media fucking influencer on the fucking planet. And what are the odds that I'm sitting there showing someone Messy Monday and the last story is about the person that I'm showing. And so just like an hour before I was in that moment, like showing him that Messy Monday, I was talking to Trevor and Trevor and I were bonding about the fact that we both keep having these weird like psychic coincidence, law of attraction things happening to us. And I was like, I need to text Trevor and tell him that this just happened. And I text Trevor and Trevor literally texts me back I was just writing a text to you next <laughs> next one a little bit smaller a little more casual still want to talk about it because I'm a fucking goddamn psychic <laughs> Next day, I was on the bus with Jordan. We were going to one of the shows, and he's showing me all these pictures of him in Vegas because he was just in Vegas. He didn't fucking hang out with me, manager goals, but he was in Vegas nonetheless, and he was showing me all these pictures of him. And as he's swiping through the pictures, I make a joke, like a completely sarcastic joke about like people who come to Vegas and like do Molly at the club. And I was like, oh, like what's next? A picture of your fucking pupils? Cause like you rolled so hard, bro. Like totally joking. And Jordan looks at me and was like, how did you know that? And I was like, no, what? And he was like, and like swiped to the next picture. And it was a picture of his pupils that he took as a joke to make fun of people who take pictures of their pupils when they go to Vegas. 
and do Molly in clubs. What are the odds that I make a joke making fun of people who fucking do that? And like the next picture on his phone was like him making fun of people who fucking do that. I'm gonna say what are the odds a lot in this video because that's all I can think of when I think of these situations. Like what are the fucking odds, bitch? Later that night, I'm sitting in my bed, and I randomly am just like sitting there, I'm scrolling through Twitter, whatever. My brain literally is like, you need to text Aspen over, like you should text Aspen over, like check in on her, like see how she's doing, like whatever. And so at first I just kind of disregard it, but in the comments of my last video, people were telling me like, when you get those kind of thoughts and intuitions in your head, it's kind of like the universe telling you like, you should talk to that person, or you should follow through with that, or like whatever. And so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna text her, like my brain wouldn't just randomly think of Aspen, who I haven't talked to in months, to like text her for no reason, if there wasn't a reason. So I text Aspen and two things happen that are very weird to me. I text her hi or whatever and she immediately replies with like how all of these weird psychic coincidences have been happening to her too. And I think that's so weird that like you get it. <laughs> and so she starts telling me about all of these like weird psychic coincidences that have been happening to her. And somehow like nonchalantly in what she's saying, she basically says like it's her birthday. And I'm like wait you're 21 now? Like it's your birthday? Like what's going on? She's like yeah like it's my birthday. And what are the fucking odds <laughs> that I haven't talked to my good friend Aspen in a long time? Haven't been on Twitter at all. I was on Twitter for the first time that day and only looked at like one or two tweets. Like had no fucking idea. Like it was a cold day in hell before I would know it was this bitch's birthday. My brain tells me to text her on her birthday and when I do text her on her birthday she's telling me about how she's having all of these weird psychic coincidences too okay 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 what are the fucking odds <laughs> the next one this is gonna be a really long one <laughs> and it's like a million different things that all coincide into one really big random thing and I just prepare yourselves I don't know um, this one is the one that like I can't even think about it it fucks with my head that hard like I'm a fucking goddamn psychic if I've ever seen one <gasps> Okay. <laughs> like a day later in Australia, Jordan and I go with these two people that we like just met on this tour to go see kangaroos in like this random ass butt fuck Egypt ass part of Australia. Like we like drive an hour and a half into like, the middle of nowhere and we're looking at all these kangaroos and shit. And so on the drive back, it's a long drive back, it's late at night, it's been a long day, I fall asleep. Basically I can fall asleep anywhere because I'm always so fucking sleep deprived because I'm always doing something. And so um, falling asleep in cars is super normal for me. <laughs> I don't think that's normal for most 18 year olds. I. <laughs> Should probably sleep more, but before I fell asleep I had in my headphones and I was listening to music But I had Drake's new album on shuffle So I was pretty much only listening to like Drake on shuffle You know what I mean? Just keep that in mind. It'll make sense in a second Okay, and so I fall asleep just in the car like this and I doze off and I start having this really Intense vivid insane dream and in this dream is this guy and it's a really weird person to have in one of my dreams He's not someone I've seen in like a long ass time not someone I've like been close with or hung out with or anything in a long ass time, but he's also not someone that I don't know very well. Like, I don't know, like it's not like a stranger by any means. But it's also not someone who I would ever like have a dream about or expect to be in my dreams or whatever. And so I have this vivid ass dream that this like person is in. And so then I like kind of wake up, but I'm still very confused. Do you ever have a dream and for a second you feel like it's like real life and as you're waking up you're really disoriented and you're like, where am I? Like was that real life or not? The dream was so vivid that it was like one of those kind of dreams. And that's really weird for me too because whenever I sleep in like cars or planes or like I sleep for a short amount of time in a place that isn't a bed where I'm getting a lot of sleep, I never have dreams. So it's weird that I would just fall asleep and instantly have a vivid ass dream and then wake up like 10 minutes later like confused, like that never happens to me. And so I wake up, I'm really confused, and in my headphones, this random ass James Arthur song, Can I Be Him, is the name of the song. It's like a love song, is playing, which is really weird because I was only playing Drake's album. I'd only been asleep for 10 minutes, so Drake's album on shuffle should have still been like playing, like I don't know how that song started playing, I don't know, whatever. And so I wake up and I'm still very confused and this song is playing in my ears. And for some reason, <laughs> I just get like stuck. I'm like stuck in the song, I'm listening to the song, I'm thinking about this dream, I'm just sitting there like smiling like for no reason like just stuck you know what I mean just like why am I smiling like why do I feel this like wave of like like I just felt really weird I don't even know like the best way to explain it is like I was on like Molly or something like just overly happy but confused but so content with the situation <laughs> Don't do drugs, <laughs> but like yeah, that's how I felt. I don't know So finally the song ends and I like zoom back into reality and I think to myself for one second like that was so weird Why would I have a dream about that person? Why was that song playing? Like I'm starting to question everything and I look out the window in the car And there's this giant like I'm not even kidding you one of the biggest 
road signs I've ever seen in my entire life and it has two words on it and the words are telling you a name of a place in Australia like a body of water that you could exit right then and there by that sign to like go see this body of water and I look at the sign and one of the two words were this guy's last name that I just had the dream about and it's not like that common like it's not something that you would ever see on a road sign and what are the odds <laughs> that I would have a dream about someone, have that weird ass moment, like zoom out, and the first thing I like coherently focus on is a giant fucking sign with his last name on it. But wait, there's so much more. That is one tenth of this weird psychic coincidence. Like that would be like weird, but no, it's just. So I look over at Jordan and Jordan's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Because I'm literally like, <sighs> and so I'm like, you're not gonna believe me. This is gonna be really weird. Jordan doesn't ever believe my psychic coincidences. He is 100% convinced in his brain that they are all just like coincidences. They're happening for no reason. Like they don't mean anything. Like I'm just fucking crazy, like blah, blah, blah. So I explain this whole thing that is happening. Like I just had this crazy dream. I woke up and the song was playing and it was really weird. And I looked at the sign and it was the last name of the person I just had a dream about, blah, 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 blah. He basically looks at me and is like, you're over dramatic. You just had a dream. You looked at a sign. It's a coincidence. Get over it. Okay? And so I'm like, you're right. I need to get over it. Whatever. I get on my phone. I open up Twitter. I go into my Twitter tab. And so on my Twitter, there's like mentions where it's just people tweeting tweets to me. And then there's like the verified tab where like verified users can tweet to me. And then there's like the all tab, which I like. That is the tab that I by far like rarely ever check. I'm usually just in my mentions replying to you guys or in my verified tab, like seeing what my friends are tweeting me and stuff like that. But I open up the all tab for some reason. And in in the all tab, you can see any notifications. Like if someone followed you, if someone favorited your tweet, if someone retweeted you, whatever. I open up the all tab and I refresh it. And in that exact moment that I refreshed it, the person I had the dream about followed me on Twitter. And what are the odds that I see that too? Because like when someone follows me, it says like blank and nine others followed you. Like he easily could have been the and nine others. And I would have never even seen that he followed me, but it was his name and nine others just followed you. We haven't followed each other on Twitter in literally like years too. Like what are the odds that he followed Followed me like it. But wait, there's more. Like, I'm not even gonna like scream and freak out until this sequence of events is done. Okay. So now fast forward really quickly to Coachella. I'm at Coachella. It's night one. I'm seeing Dylan Francis with Trevor, Trevor's brother, Trevor's brother's two random friends that are girls and Bella. And we're in the crowd. We're dancing. We're having a good time, whatever. And so all of a sudden Dylan Francis, or I think it was Dylan Francis. It might've been another DJ. I'm not sure. Whoever it was cuts their DJ set, stops playing like hardcore EDM. Like DJs do this sometimes. Like they'll play like a random like love song or like feely song or whatever. And then like they'll drop the beat and it'll go back to like hard EDM. They cut their set and they play like eight seconds of that fucking song that was in my earphones in Australia. And so immediately I was dancing, talking, being super normal, having a really normal good time. That song starts playing for like eight seconds and literally just like in the car, all of a sudden I'm like in a trance. I'm just staring straight at the screen just like, Keep in mind, at this point, I'm like pretty much sober as well. Like any drunkness I had had from like earlier in the night had like worn off by this point. I wasn't like on any drugs or anything. It was genuinely like the song, you know what I mean? So I was just listening to the song, like swaying, smiling, like overcome, which is like pure joy. And then the song goes off and the beat drops again. And I kind of like zoom back into reality again. And I think to myself, like that was so weird. Like maybe I just really liked the song. Like I really like James Arthur. Like, I don't know, whatever. And so I turned to Trevor's brother and the two girlfriends that he's with. And I'm like, hey, like, by the way, I'm Tana. I never introduced myself to you. It's so nice to meet you guys. Like blah, blah, blah. And so I'm standing there making small talk and they're like, Oh, you're from Vegas. I don't think we know anybody from Vegas. But like, that's dope. Like blah, blah, blah. And then one of the girls was like, actually, I know like one person from Vegas. Like you might know him. You might not know him. I don't know. His name is Blake. And I literally, the second she said his name was just like, This is not real life. This is not my life. She said the name of the guy that I had that fucking dream about, woke up and that fucking song was playing, saw the fucking sign, he followed me on Twitter, whatever. What are the fucking odds that I am at Coachella? I am at a DJ set. DJs don't even play songs like that. And that fucking James Arthur song came on. And then one moment, literally one moment after that song came on, one moment after I like zoomed back into reality, those two girls could have said anything in the world to me. And they said that guy's fucking name. What the fuck? So I literally look at them and I'm like, I'm so sorry, but I'm going mentally fucking insane. I need to walk away. It was so nice to meet you. Like literally these girls were probably like, is this bitch on like DMT? Like. 
So I walk away, and so as I'm walking away, still just thinking about how weird this fucking situation is, I run into an old friend of mine from Vegas, and ironically enough, this person that I run into is like a mutual friend of me and this guy, like the guy that those girls just asked me if I knew, the guy that was like in my dream, like the same guy. And so I'm talking to this person, and we're just talking about random Vegas people that are like at Coachella, because it was weird for me to run into them too, because I hadn't seen them in forever. And long story short, after they name like 10 people from Vegas that like I would know that were at Coachella, they name the name of that guy. And I was like, wait, He's like here at Coachella and they're like yeah, like he's here at Coachella and I'm like Oh, like first of all, I was never even supposed to make it to weekend two of Coachella I never wanted to go to weekend two and like what are the odds that like I did and I'm here and like all of that just happened And then like that guy is in the same place as me too like at Coachella like I don't even know. I'm going insane. Tell me that that long ass string of sequence of events is just one big fucking coincidence, please. I want someone to tell me that in the comments below. Like, I get these other little ones like where one thing happens and it's like, oh, that's just a coincidence. But like, what are the odds that my phone played that song? Like, it wasn't even supposed to play the song and then like the DJ that would like never play the song played the song and then like the girls were just like, ah! That's the one that like, I knew this was a series. Like the second that all of that shit happened to me, I knew these videos would become a series because like, tell me, like, what are the odds? <laughs> okay, now rewind back into Australia that same night that Jordan and I were in the car and I had the dream. So that whole night I could not stop telling Jordan over and over again, like, I'm psychic, like, just wait, just wait, like, I'm psychic, like, you're gonna see it, I promise, whatever. And he just kept saying to me, like, no, you're fucking not, you're crazy. And so we were in the car and Jordan and I both were on our phone scrolling through Twitter and at the same exact time, not a coincidence or anything, it's fine, <laughs> people do things at the same exact time all the time, right? <laughs> we both pull up Trevor's Twitter and we see that like right in that moment Trevor was at Coachella weekend one and he was with Lady Gaga and we both were just like whoa That's so sick and I was like starting to complain a little because like I totally wanted to be at Coachella And I knew that if I was like there at Coachella I would probably be with Trevor I probably would have been with Lady Gaga and so then I like drop it like I'm thinking about something else Whatever I open up my Twitter and I like refresh my mentions in that literal exact moment And the top tweet at the top of my mentions was a fan of mine being like I bet you wish you were at Coachella right now because you'd be meeting Lady Gaga with Trevor like ha 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 and so I show that to Jordan and I'm like isn't that so weird like how we were just talking about that and like and like that person has no idea that we were just talking about that like they just tweeted me that and Jordan's like no Tana Trevor tweeted a public tweet about seeing Lady Gaga like anyone could tweet you that they know you're friends with Trevor like it's just a coincidence get over it and so I refresh my Twitter again and a fan of mine tweets me a screenshot of them listening to the song you and I by Lady Gaga because I always talk about how that's like one of my favorite songs and so I show that to Jordan too I'm like See, someone else is reading about Lady Gaga like that's so weird and he's like Tana like you're stupid You've talked about how you and I is one of your favorite songs before like they're just listening to it And I'm like fine fuck you Jordan like I'm over this and so I put both of my headphones in I open up my iTunes music library, which is literally filled with like 4,000 songs and I press shuffle guess what fucking song plays just take a wild guess It's been a long time since it came around What are the odds? <laughs> so then that song plays, I like freak out internally because at this point I'm like there is no point in even continuing to relay this information to Jordan because he just thinks I'm fucking crazy. So then the car finally stops and we arrive at our destination which was to this like random mall in Australia and we were gonna go eat dinner there. And so as we're walking into this mall, I'm trying to keep talking to Jordan about how I think I'm psychic and he's like talking over me and trying to make me like stop talking because like he's so like sick of hearing about this. And so he looks at me and he asks me, Tana would you take a bullet? for me and I'm like what the fuck like what kind of random ass question but Jordan does that to me a lot like we'll try to like change my train of thought by asking me a random ass question and I'm like yeah I think I would take a bullet for like a lot of people like I know that sounds really weird but if someone's gonna shoot me or someone I love like I would rather it be me like I don't think I'm gonna fucking live a long life anyways I know that sounds really morbid but it's true and I'm like I feel like if someone's like holding a gun to you and you were like do it pussy they would be less likely to do it than if you were like please don't because then they like like they, I don't want my dying moments either to be like me pleading and begging for something and someone feeling like they have all this control over me basically I'm gonna die because I'm an egotistical stubborn piece of shit but like that's beside the point and so I'm like yeah and so as we're talking about that like bullets guns like would you take a bullet for someone like whatever we walk into the center of this mall and the guys that we're with they were like 20 feet ahead of us like they couldn't hear our conversation they come back to us and they interrupt our conversation and they're like yo sorry to interrupt you guys but this tower in the middle of this mall is actually made up of like thousands and thousands of bullets and I just look at Jordan and I'm like Coincidence. <laughs> and I just kept walking. 
it was a thing. This is a really random note really quickly, but usually when I'm having days where like this shit happens to me, it just keeps happening all day and then I'll go for like a week and none of them will happen and then I'll have another day where it'll happen. Like I think there are just days where like the stars motherfucking align and like 80 things will happen to me and then it'll like chill out. I don't know, it's weird. So the same night, we were in the car and we were on the way home now from dinner. Someone tweeted me that Amari just got made a famous birthdays page. And so I was looking through Amari's famous birthdays page and somehow I get on this like thought track of like, like I'm thinking about Amari, I'm thinking about how Amari and I have been friends for so long, I'm thinking about how it's so weird that like him and I both do social media now and like we grew up always like watching social media, like how we would always like watch vines together in bed for like hours. And then I started thinking about how when me and Amari would always watch vines in bed together for hours, our favorite viner was Alyssa Light and she was like this singer and she would always post singing vines and shit and we were like obsessed with her, like Amari was literally like obsessed with Alyssa Light and like we had all of her post notice on, like it was a thing. And so I'm thinking about that and I look up to Jordan and Jordan looks at me and at the exact same time, we both say, yo, do you remember Alyssa Light? Yo, do you remember Alyssa Light? What are the fucking odds that we would look at each other and then in the exact same moment have completely different thought processes, but manifest the same exact sentence about the same person in the same moment? And I just look at him and I'm like, and just get back on my phone. Like, we don't even talk about Alyssa Light. Like, I looked at him to say that, to have a conversation about Alyssa Light. Like, what is she doing now? Like, I'm assuming he was gonna say something else too, and I was just like, I don't even wanna talk. I'm just, I'm just gonna get back on my phone. Like, it's, it's fine, seriously, it's fine. So then last week I was at the mall with Maya, Yayan, Ashley, and Amari, and we were standing in the Louis Vuitton store because I was getting my backpack fixed that Jordan broke in Australia. Shout out, Jordan. And so I'd been explaining to like Yayan and Maya and Ashley in the past, like about all of these psychic coincidences, but they all were still kind of skeptical because they weren't around for like a lot of them. And so we were all standing there talking about like weird diets. We're just talking about like weird celebrity fad diets, diets that people do to get skinny really fast. And randomly, for some reason, in a Shane Dawson video, like, like months ago, like when the video came out, he talked about how celebrities would put butter in their coffee and it would make them feel full for a really long time. And like Yayan was like, yeah, I've heard of it, like whatever. And Ashley and I were like talking about how we kind of wanted to try it to like see what it did and like whatever. And so we leave the Louis Vuitton store. And I don't know if you guys have seen my stalker story from the past where I talk about how my phone is tapped, but all the time I'll like have my phone on one app like Twitter and I'll like lock it like lock it on Twitter and then I'll open up my phone and it'll be on like the YouTube app like watching a video that I like wasn't watching so that happens all the time and I'm kind of used to it but we're walking into Sephora and I open up my phone and for some reason that Shane Dawson video where he talked about the fucking celebrity diets of like the butter coffee like that video was playing on my phone and so I just stopped for a second I'm like guys this is so weird like why is this video on my phone like, we were just talking about it in there like I'm a fucking psychic like whatever and then I'm like nah, like honestly my phone's always open on weird shit, I've watched that video in the past before, it could have been in my history, could have accidentally tapped it, like whatever, not a big deal. And so I swipe out of YouTube and I start shopping in Sephora. And as we're shopping, I go up to a worker because I'm about to ask her a question to see if they have like some makeup palette or something. And I'm standing there in front of the two workers with like Maya, Yayan, and Ashley. And the two workers are standing there talking to each other. And so one of the workers was bringing the other worker coffee. And so she goes to hand her the coffee and the other worker looks at her and she goes, but you didn't put butter in it again, like those weird diet trends, right? I literally had a bag of stuff I was about to buy from Sephora and I'm holding it like this and I just go and Yayan was like oh, oh, oh. I believe you, I believe you, I believe you, I believe you, you're a fucking psychic I'm so sorry I ever doubted you, I'm so sorry I believe you and Maya and Ashley were just like I literally had to like walk out of the Sephora and like cool off and, and like go back in there and pick up the stuff I was gonna buy and look at the worker and just be like sorry I'm going through something but like do you guys have the Too Faced Peach palette? Like what are the odds that I, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm. Next one. I'm at the Grove with my mom and my stylist, like last week. And as I'm walking through the Grove, I'm talking to my mom about how she really needs to try Roscoe's. Like the chicken and waffles place in LA because I know she would like it. She eats chicken, she likes that kind of food, whatever. I was like, I totally want to take you there tonight. And she was like, okay, like sounds good. And so as we were walking into Topshop and I had just said that about Roscoe's, I kind of like zoned out. And my brain for a second was like, yo, you need to text Julia Knight. And I know you guys like don't know who Julia Knight is, I'm about to explain. But basically I used to be like really heavily involved with my church. I would go to church like every Wednesday, every Saturday, every Sunday. I was in this youth group all the time. I was so obsessed with it. I loved church. But Julia is this girl that I was like 
so fucking close with. Like we were like best friends. We would go to church every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday together. She is like a little sister to me. To this day, I would literally take a bullet for her. Like I love her, but I just don't talk to her as much anymore. We kind of drifted. And my brain was like, Tana, you need to text Julie at night. You need to check on her. Like I just couldn't get it out of my head. And so I think about it and I'm like, okay, I'll do it in a second. And I start to shop in Topshop. And then this girl comes up to me and she's like, hey, I know you have no idea who I am. Um, this is going to sound really weird, but this one time you were eating at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles and I paid for your meal. And I was like, wait, really? Like, you're that girl. Like, what the hell? Because, like, a long time ago, I was eating at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, and there were these fans there, and I was gonna pay for their meal because they recognized me, like, before I walked in. And then I went to pay for their meal, and the waitress told me, like, someone else paid for my meal, but, like, they already left. And it was a really weird sequence of events, and I, like, cried about it on Snapchat because I'm a fucking melodramatic piece of shit. It was just one of those moments in life that I'll probably never forget because I felt so loved. Like, here I was in LA, a place I would, like, never be unless it was for YouTube, working on stuff that I was so proud of. I got recognized by these people who support me, which is so amazing, and I was trying to buy their meal, but someone else who, like, supported me bought my meal, and they left. It was just a really surreal moment in my life that I'll never forget, but of course, the girl that bought my meal left, and I never got to see her. I never knew who it was. I just made a Snapchat about it, like, some girl bought my meal, but she dipped out before I could say thank you, and so I was like, dude, what the hell? Like, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Like, that moment is a moment in my life I'll probably never forget. It's nice to meet you, and she looks at me, and she's like, yeah, like, I bought your meal because my little sister really loves you. I didn't really watch your videos, but, like, my little sister showed me them and then after watching your videos I started stalking you and I was like going through your Instagram and I realized that you and I have this really close mutual friend and she was like yeah like it's crazy it's so weird to me that my little sister showed me your videos and like you and I have this mutual friend and like I live here in California and you live in Vegas and like blah 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 and I'm like oh who is it and she's like here I'll show you her Instagram just to make sure we're talking about the same person and I'm like okay and so she gets out her Instagram opens the search bar and types like Julia like underscore night or Julia like whatever Julia's Instagram is and I literally was like that's fucking weird <laughs> And so I don't tell the girl about it because I don't want to fucking tell her this like 80 minute story, freak her the fuck out and make her think I'm crazy. So we like take a picture, I give her a giant hug, we talk for like 20 more minutes. I tell her thank you, I'm being an emotional little bitch telling her how much you guys fucking changed my life and stuff. And so she leaves and I get on my phone and I go to type a text to Julia Knight telling her about this crazy fucking situation that just happened to me. And as I'm typing the text, Julia Knight texts me and says, hey, I know we haven't like talked in a while, but like will you come to my graduation or like, and like I really want your help with some YouTube stuff and like blah 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 like I just miss you like this long ass text and I lost my fucking shit I lost my mind I text Julia this huge fucking paragraph about everything that just happened I'm freaking out to my mom and my stylist what are the odds even just the Roscoe's part is so weird like how I was telling my mom we should eat Roscoe's then I think of Julia Knight then I run into this girl who paid for my meal at Roscoe's and, and we're our only mutual friend is Julia Knight and then I go to text Julia Knight and she texts me she my nose is so fucking itchy. This video is literally already like 30 minutes. I'm sorry, I only have like three more. This one is where I think the clickbait title is gonna come from. That same night when I was with Tyler and my mom, all night Tyler was complaining to me about this girl, this Instagram model that is like really famous, that was really, really mean to him. Like I guess he was trying to give her clothes or something. At some event, he goes to hand her this bag of clothes. It's a very small event, like there was probably only 20 people there, like a bunch of celebrities were there. He goes to hand her the bag of clothes and I guess she was like really rude to him about it. So he's been like complaining about her all day and so as he was like complaining about it he was like and you know how she got famous right and he goes to like start telling me about this girl and so he starts telling me how this really famous girl basically got famous by being a part of this like famous prostitution ring in Miami Florida where like the company finds really really pretty girls and they hire them and then they pay them like a lot of money and they take them to like the biggest clubs in like Miami New York LA and like big celebrities like big rappers like think of the biggest male celebrities that you can basically invest like a monthly amount of money into this company like the company that hires all these like really pretty girls and then when like the celebrity comes to a city to like perform or have a show or a nightclub appearance the prostitution company will like send the celebrity 20 of like the baddest bitches and basically the celebrity like picks who he wants and he fucks them or like he hangs out with them at the club or like whatever it's basically just like a really really high-end escort service but a lot of these girls they become really famous because like they'll be seen with like a really big celebrity or like they'll start dating a really big celebrity or something like that you know 
know what I mean? So he was just basically saying like she only became famous for like, fucking a really really famous guy and like getting caught with it and like whatever And so as he was telling me this story He was also showing me like a lot of receipts So I definitely think it was like a real story It wasn't like a hunch, you know Like he was actually telling me about this girl and like showing me all these receipts and shit And so we're outside of the Beverly Center We just got done shopping and we're waiting for an Uber And he's telling me this, he's showing me the receipts, whatever The nicest car drives by I'm not gonna say what kind of car it is Because I don't want anybody to find out what kind of girl this is Because I'm not trying to shade her, I don't know her Like this is just someone else's story, someone else's experience, whatever The nicest fucking car drives by and pulls up right next to us like at the light and all of us immediately look at the car because it's a really really nice car and we realize that the windows aren't like tinted at all so we like look in the car and Tyler and I look at each other and we're like no fucking way. It was the fucking Instagram model that we'd been talking about all day. That we were talking about in that moment. We were literally having a conversation about her and paused to look at the car. And she was in the fucking car. And the second we both look back at each other, she just like drives off like the light turns green. And I look at him and I'm like, see? I told you I was a fucking psychic. <laughs> Dude, my nose is so itchy. It does this like once a month and it's so miserable. So a bunch of little ones happen all throughout the mix of all of these big ones. And if you guys want a video with more psychic coincidences, I will. But I'm gonna get to the last two the other night. So the other night I was hanging out with my friend Ricky and we were standing there talking and we were kind of around a lot of people but we were both just talking to each other. And he was like, hey, by the way, you don't follow me on Instagram. And I was like, okay, I'll follow you on Instagram right now. And so he pulls up his Instagram and his at name is at Banks, shameless self promo to Ricky, but um, and whenever people have really short ass Instagram names, a lot of the time they all come from like the same guy. Like there's this guy that like works really closely with Instagram and like gets all these influencers a short ass Instagram name so that they can fucking think that they're better than everyone else even though they're not. No, I'm just kidding. I only know that because I was trying to get at Tana for like so long. And so this guy is like my friend, you know? And so I was like talking to Ricky, I was like, did you get your Instagram name from blank? Like the Instagram guy. Let's say his name name is Sam. So I was like, did you get your at name from Sam? And Ricky was like, no, like I got it from someone else, but like I know Sam, like Sam's dope, whatever. And then I kid you not, literally 10 seconds later, Sam, the Instagram guy who gets those at names, randomly texts Ricky and says, tell Tana I say hi. What are the odds that I even see Ricky's at name and think of that guy, whatever. That I think of that guy and I talk about that guy and then that guy texts Ricky to tell me I said hi because I, I guess that guy saw me on Ricky's Snapchat story and went to like text Ricky. I'm assuming that's what happened but I mean like, but like why would he even text him to like tell me hi? Like it's not like we're like that close and like when I'm literally talking about him, like that's just so fucking mind blowing to me. I don't know. I don't know. And so then like five seconds later, EDM is playing and I make a joke. I keep making these jokes. I need to stop. The EDM starts playing and I'm like dancing along to it and I'm like EDM is life marshmallow is shook like the DJ marshmallow like the EDM DJ And as I'm saying that I refresh my verified tab on Twitter and marshmallow favorited my most recent tweet Like it happens in like waves like I'm What are <laughs> My next tattoo, my first tattoo, is going to be what are the odds just across my fucking forehead. Okay, you guys, I literally kid you not, I have like 25 more of these. I'm so sorry that this video was so long, but I'm going the fuck insane. Like I said in the beginning, and I always say in all of these videos, if you have any answers as to why you think these are happening, that is why I make these videos. If you have any input, any personal experiences, any stories, please tell me in the comments below. I will be reading the comments on this video for a while. I will be responding to them, so please leave your input below and thank you to everybody who left me so much input last time you guys really really have helped me out a lot understand this more I guess come meet me come hang out with me in your city the show is going to be insane I promise you it will be worth every penny and nothing like my last tour the links about all of that are below get my mugshot on a shirt and wear it on your body and for when I'm not posting videos, which apparently is all the fucking time because I'm a terrible fucking YouTuber and I'm really sorry, I'm on all of my social media, so that is linked below as well. Now I'm gonna shut the fuck up and go continue being a psychic. <laughs> Bye, guys.